Are you suffering from flat butt-itis? Got no junk in your trunk? Does your lack of counterbalance make it impossible to tie your shoes? Do you have trouble just enjoying a good sit? Is it impossible to open doors with your hands full? Are you generally feeling bummed about your bum bum? Then you need the new Scotty ventilated hip pad and bustle with new air cool technology. Patented holes allow air to circulate through your new luscious junk in the trunk. This revelation in butt technology will help you with all your balance issues. Sitting problems are a thing of the past as it gives you the perfect smooth silhouette. Hip check doors open with ease. Thanks, Scotty. But, wait, there's more. The Scotty ventilated hip pad makes an excellent sun visor, a perfect saddle pad for your dog, and the coolest fashion accessory of the year. Get yours for the low, low price of I'm not sure the pattern hasn't actually launched yet. Hey guys, it's Robin here, and I was lucky enough to be one of the pattern testers for the new Virgil's Fine Goods pattern, and I thought I'd show you how I made it and give you my thoughts. The first step in any e-pattern is to tape it together and cut it out. I had no issues with aligning the pieces or printing. I'm using a cotton poplin bed sheet for my fabric in the interest of using what I had. A certain assistant put a hole in the sheet, so I'm salvaging the rest of it. Then I traced all the lines for the quilting, grommets, and seam allowances. I wanted to point out here that the darts are different sizes. Some go all the way through the bottom quilted lines and some do not. Before we can sew the flat pieces together, the first step is to sew the darts. You fold them right sides together and sew from the outside edge to the inside edge. The next step is to pin the waist ties into the corners. I used twill tape, again, what I had on hand, and I wanted to make sure they were extra long so I could wrap them around the front and tie them under the bustle to avoid a knot in the front. I sewed around all the pieces right sides together, then clipped all my seam allowances and turned it right sides out through the opening in the center edge. My one comment as a pattern tester is that this opening is kind of small, so if you have big hands you may want to leave yourself another inch. I then pressed it flat and top stitched right next to the edge. For stuffing I'm using wool batting because again it's what I had in my stash. I cut strips down and fed them into the bustle, pushing them towards the outside edges and pinning them into place. This was by far the most fiddly part of this process, and it would probably actually be easier with loose stuffing. Then I sewed the quilted channels that are on the bottom edge. These help with a nice tapered shape so your butt doesn't have a shelf that just drops off. This pattern calls for grommets, which I loathe, and did not record myself hammering in as there was a lot of swearing and they're all mangled as I can't be trusted with grommets. If I make it again, I'll just tuft the whole thing. They're really not worth the trouble. I pulled apart some of my batting into loose bits and stuffed her full and pinned the opening close. Then I tufted it on the marked spots by hand sewing through a spot twice and tying it off. Last step was to sew it closed and she was done. Voila! So my final thoughts. I'm really happy with this pattern. It gives a great shape and that perfect gentle hip curve. I myself have negative levels of butt and therefore I still wear a small crescent shaped pad under it. But if you are shaped less like a basketball with legs and more like an hourglass or a pear, you won't need that. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And please be sure to check out Amber of Virgil's Fine Goods on Instagram and on Etsy where you can buy this pattern. Thanks so much. Butts. <laughs> <laughs>